Hello, everybody. I'm Jackie K. Cooper here with Judy Intern. Hello, everyone. And it's Tell All Tuesday. It is. We've got a big list of stuff to talk about today. We do have a big list of stuff, but we were looking at the mm -hmm. camera and I finally figured out I look like Danny DeVito. He does. Who yeah. agrees? I'm agree. taller. Yeah, you are taller. That's for sure. <laughs> but a little round head. <laughs> Glasses. Yep. A little smile. <laughs> Spitting image. Yep. Yeah. All right. First thing I want to talk about, you have got to explain this thing to me okay. because all, there's just been an uproar over this Taylor Swift oh, concert tour, my gosh. the Eras concert, the Eras tour, Eras, uh -huh. Eras tour, mm -hmm. and you got your tickets, didn't you? Mm -hmm. How did these people not get tickets? But let me tell you, John, you've got to explain it. Oh, I yeah. don't understand. Everybody, listening, so. Uh -huh. Ticketmaster <laughs> sent out codes for verified fan presale. Like, do you have to apply? To you ticket? have to apply. You have to put in your email. You had to put in your email address, and if you were one of the lucky people that got chosen to participate, they you choose received, mm -hmm, out of the people who applied. They choose randomly. Yes. So that doesn't seem fair. Should be first come first serve. Yeah, I you would think, but anyway, so random people got selected. And um, you would receive an email. You were supposed to receive an email and a text, but some people only received a text. Some people only received emails. What did you get? Neither. My group, we had eight people going. Okay, we all applied for presale, and three what of us some... got chosen. And the other five didn't. But here's the thing: we agreed that whoever got the presale would buy the tickets. We, we split into two groups. One person would get four. One person would get four. So we have eight tickets total. So you got the people covered. Yes, everybody was covered. I got you. So if any two, two mm -hmm. I guess it could have, if they got one, you could have bought eight tickets. Well, you can only buy up to six in one oh, purchase. So, so that's why we split. all looked out. That's why we split. Yeah. That's why we split into two groups. Mm -hmm. We decided this before any of this even happened. Okay. We were like, these, these are the groups. Here's... All right, yeah. So you've been notified that so two of you or three of you correct. Are, are in the pre-sale. Correct. So, uh, 10 a.m. on Wednesday, the pre-sale begins. And for 30 minutes beforehand, I was having issues because I, I didn't get pre-sale, but my cousin did and Cody did. Now, I was trying to use Cody's pre-sale at first. Makes sense. Mm-hmm. And so I clicked on his link to take me to the presale, and it said, "You are not part of this presale. You are not a ver you are not a verified fan." And I was like, "Yes, I am. I I have the I link am Cody right here. <laughs> and there's a link. I I have everything." And it said, "This account is not linked to a presale." So I was like, "Okay, whatever. I'm running out of time." So I texted my cousin, who was also going to the concert. Um, she's covered. She got covered with the other group's mm -hmm. purchase. Um. I said, can I use your code to get these tickets? And so I, she said yes, and I got in line at 9.50. Pre-sale started at 10, and I was putting in all the information for like 10 minutes because it kept kicking me out and saying that it was wrong. It was, I knew it was going to be a, a disastrous this day. This would have frustrated me so I was bad. So mad, and I was getting all frustrated. And so finally, when 10 a.m. hit, I, it, it like put me in this queue and I was sitting in this queue for six hours. You are kidding me. Six hours. So finally, when around like three, three o'clock, four o'clock, when it finally let me in to get my tickets, I was clicking around all the stadium. And every time I would click on available tickets, it would tell me, sorry, another fan beat you to this. So I was having issues before, during, and while I was trying to get my tickets. And um, I, I got super, super, super lucky. It was probably by chance of like a millisecond between me and somebody else trying to get tickets at the same time. I finally got tickets, got four of them. It took all day long. Four all together or were you spattered four, all over four the... Four all together. Okay. So I finally got them. And the other four people got theirs? And the other four people got... They got lucky. They got super, super lucky. Right when the queues started, they, they got in. straight in and they got their tickets and they were done. Okay. Is this the only way you can get tickets? No. So the general sale starts tomorrow. But let me tell you why everybody's mad. Not only did they have a nightmare of a time trying to get these tickets, they're mad at Taylor Swift too because she did not opt out of dynamic pricing. Which means that once um, 
I, I don't really know what the issue was. Basically, tickets were promised to be between $45, $49 and $499. And then when people finally got in, prices were sky high. I've heard scalpers were getting yes. $80,000, $90,000, oh, if yeah. you believe that. Yeah. I mean, for a concert. I mean, it's it was crazy. And people are mad. <laughs> yeah, I mean, seriously, it is on the news yeah. constantly about Taylor Swift and Ticketmaster mm -hmm. and her the fans are all at war with mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everybody's mad. It's that's you know that is just so ridiculous to me that you would that that they could not have a procedure. That's that the other thing. People are mad because they they claim that they did not expect this amount of people, but they were the ones that Wait. sent out the pre-sale codes. They knew how many people were going to be in there. It's Taylor Swift. It's Taylor. Yeah, you also know the demand for Taylor yes. Swift. Like, come on, Ticketmaster. Anyways, I think there's a lawsuit. Yeah, yeah I heard that there are all kind of lawsuits being yeah. filed. Well, so. I hope you enjoy the concert. Yeah, it better be good after that yeah. nightmare of a time. And it's not till April, is April. it? April. Mm -hmm. All of the... My gosh, no telling what will happen between now I and know. April. I know. I know. Who knows? Mm. Anyway, I'm getting mad just thinking about it. Well, Next now, subject, will they Becky. actually send you a physical ticket between now and April? No, you have them on your phone. You scan them on your phone. There'll probably probably be problems with that too. We'll see. Uh, anyway, I, I just that is so outside my mm. you know believability. Yeah. Because I'd be thinking, but I couldn't. I would. I get mad waiting on. People who put me on hold for yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah. Six hours? Six hours. <laughs> it was insane. It was insane. Mm. Well, somebody wrote me the other day and said, are you going to cover the Christmas movies? You know, mm -hmm. we put up all of my movie reviews on YouTube, here on YouTube. And I had just watched a, a movie. The reviews already been posted, so I can talk about it. It won't be a big surprise, but you can go to, you know, look at my review on the YouTube on. On the YouTube. On the YouTube. <laughs> on the YouTube. That's so bad. That's a good on the YouTube. Have you been on the Facebook lately? <laughs> <laughs> on the YouTube. But it's this movie I was telling you about a while ago. It's called Spirited. It stars Ryan Reynolds and Will Ferrell, mm -hmm. Octavia Spencer, and Patrick Page. You know. And the music is by Benj Pasek and Justin Paul, mm -hmm. who did Dear Evan Hansen. Mm -hmm. The Greatest, the greatest showman, showman, which is your My favorite, favorite movie, movie of all time. And Lyle Lyle Crocodile. And, I mean, they are just the best music writing people in the world. And the music in Spirited is just, just Such hum along, sing along. Yeah. You know, make you feel good songs. The The plot itself is kind of loosely based on a Christmas carol. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think Will Ferrell is the, gross, the, the ghost of Christmas present. And Ryan Reynolds, you know, is like Scrooge. He's unredeemable, mm -hmm. but they have to go through all this to, re, you know, try mm -hmm. to redeem him mm -hmm. and everything. Ryan Reynolds can sing and dance. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? And Will Ferrell can sing and dance. Mm -hmm. They are and Octavia Spencer's sings it is such a christmas spirited movie i'll have to watch it you you have to you and okay. cody have to watch it it's yeah. You know, the bad thing it's not bad but it's on amazon and it sh should be seen on the big screen mm -hmm. you know with mm -hmm. great sound surround sound and all yeah. that sort of stuff but these days you know they they it's, it's the supposed norm. To, it's supposed to have a short the theatrical run but i haven't seen it you know, advertised. I, th you know, probably maybe in New York and L.A. It's running, but it's going to be on on TV. Mm -hmm. But to get you in the Christmas spirit, you know, watch that movie. I'm I'm kind of a bah humbug person mm -hmm. on holidays, you know, and but this just made me just smile ear to ear. Smile up. It it really did. Yeah, that's good. Before we run out of time, too, I want to mention our friend. Both of ours. Yes. Steve Arnold. Steve Arnold, it's a guy who's in charge of trivia when we do it. He's one who has to mix up all the trivia questions. He does sound for us sometimes. I, you know, Steve's been working with me for years and years. He's just good, close friends, super close to your family. Yes. And S Steve retired yes. from his government job. Uh-huh. And 
he started taking, well, he'd always taken pictures, but he took some, some more, started taking more pictures of outdoors, nature. And I'm serious. When I was looking at, I was, I said, Steve, these, these are really good. They are really good. And he said, thank you, thank you. Thank you. I said, no, no, they are really good. Uh, you know, and I, my, my viewpoint was, there are plenty of people who take pictures. Right. You know, they can, oh, that looks good. Mm -hmm. That looks good. But then there are the people who have the eye uh -huh. and can look at something. And you have it to a great oh, extent. Oh, thank you. Because when you do it, no, seriously, when you do the uh, Writer's Wings, mm -hmm. well, thank there's you, always something special about the way you. Well, thank you. It's what you do. Anyway, enough about you. Enough about me. <laughs> This isn't about me. But I, I told him, I said, you have the eye. Mm -hmm. And he kept doing these pictures uh, for Christmas. I asked my wife, she said, what do you want for Christmas? I said, I want two Steve Arnold pictures mm -hmm. that framed it on my wall. Mm -hmm. And she got part. And I kept telling him, you need, to, you need to sell these things. They are so good. And he had them up on his Instagram page. Yeah. And last week, what debuted? But his website. His website where you can purchase a yes. Steve Arnold picture. Yes. You, know, you can go to his website, you know, MrSteveArnold.com. Yes, it'll it. be in the description. Yeah, www, whatever. And it is, you will see, you will be amazed at, at what he has captured. I, I'm just, you know, I think it's just tremendous. I'm... I'm trying to coax him into writing a book, you know, having like a coffee table book mm -hmm. with the pictures and then stories mm -hmm. about the background behind the pictures. Mm -hmm. and because he travels now, he, he travels all over the country taking pictures. Mm -hmm. And they are, seriously, I know you, you're sitting out there and you say, oh, you know, that's his friend who takes pictures. Uh -huh. No, this is Steve Arnold pictures and they are, Excellent. I think they are. Yeah. I mean, you and I agree on it. Yeah. I mean, it's not like, it's not like, oh, we like Steve so much, so mm -hmm. we like his picture so much. No, he could be a total stranger, and right. I would say, these are amazing. Mm -hmm. So, if you get a chance, go to that website and look at his pictures, and we're going to keep you informed about yeah. Steve and his new career, because... It's it's really on target, and Christmas is coming. Make Christmas great, is coming. Great Make, Christmas gifts. It, it sure would. Yeah. Yeah. How about that for that Kellogg Tuesday? That was fun. It was fun. It was. This has been Jackie K. Cooper here with Agent the Intern.